Hi, I'm Dwight Gow and you're watching Newcastle Fan TV. Hello Newcastle fans TV, uh, that was pretty poor, that was really really poor. Uh, before we get on the game, uh, it's Jay Bobby Robson Day, absolutely magnificent uh, by both set of fans, you know, uh, giving the tribute to the great man, I mean he's only just got a statue just along the road here, uh, on outside the other end of the ground, you know. But uh, let's get on the lineups. So let's have a look at it uh, in no particular order, uh, with Ipswich, this is how Ipswich lined up. Um, so for me, um, I didn't think actually Freddie Sears would actually start, and by God, he caused us massive problems, didn't he? Um, but yeah, I mean, any changes for you guys? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's have a look at Newcastle. So Rafa made five changes from this lineup. I was very, I thought it might be one or two, but not five. I think Mitrovic has got to be a little bit unlucky um, how he didn't find himself in the start line. But this is Rafa rotate, you know, and Murphy went on to score his goal, of course, as well. But uh, overall, um, Bemba dropped to the bench. I thought that was a little bit harsh considering Las Cells has been a bit out of form recently as well. But I heard Rafa, Rafa and we twist, Rafa, Rafa and we trust, so to speak, not twist. Uh, the game itself then, so Newcastle were awful, weren't they? They were really, really awful, you know. Uh, possibly one of the worst I've seen Newcastle see this season, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, really disappointed really quite fed up I thought we can go go on and Ipswich and carry on from the Leeds performance because the Leeds performance yeah was absolutely fantastic it just with the, the, the slight lapse in concentration at the end cost were in Newcastle defensively in particular the first goal was conceded Richie gives the ball away and Yedlin's obviously further upfield can't get back and Ipswich score and then just before that, obviously, I think what was key 30 seconds earlier is that Paul Dubbin has some great play on the left left flank, whips in the ball, and there's Richie with the diving header, just goes over. You know, that's a key moment because 30 seconds later, they go up and score the other end. Uh, Newcastle go 1 0 down and they probably deserve it. The only other chance that we had was just Shelby Volley, really. Um, so we'll come out second half, you know, we'll score the goal just after the hour mark. Uh, Atta on the left flank, whips it in low. And there's uh, Murphy for a tap in, and he doesn't really celebrate against his former club. You know, Ipswich fans have got to sing high praise about Murphy. You know, obviously Newcastle fans are a little bit worried about him signing in the summer. And when he has played, he's caused the def defences uh, trouble as well. But yeah, but you, Ipswich went two one up. It wasn't that long after. I'd be fair. And Paul Dummett's got two men. Why is Paul Dummett got two men? It's not Paul Dummett's fault. If you look at the goal and you look at it again, Atsu's back there with him and Hanley was clear closer to them. Why has Paul Dummett got two men? Why isn't Atsu more alert? Why isn't Hanley coming across? Another defensive problem by Newcastle. I'm getting quite sick of talking about errors that are costing Newcastle games. Yes, the third goal, Newcastle were hit on the counter and they scored it. He scored, Hughes scored a brilliant volley. But Freddie Sears, Freddie Sears absolutely tore Newcastle apart the day, and you probably have to say Lawrence did as well. Newcastle was second best pretty much all over, and it's it's quite an embar no disrespect to Ipswich, but I have to say that's quite an embarrassing performance for Newcastle, considering we had a small chance of going for the title the day. Congratulations uh, to Brighton, you've got to say that it's not not very nice seeing it, but Brighton in the, especially the last month, so so much better than us. So we we deserve not to be champions, you know. So Brighton will go up next week as champions. They're already promoted. Congratulations. Great scenes at the at the MX there. Hopefully we'll join them. You know, after the final whistle, very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Let's get some reaction from the Newcastle camp. Very disappointing. Um I saw for the first half we're absolutely awful all over the pitch. Um it's probably the worst we've played. Um second half then we got a goal back and that's all then we came into the game a bit more and we were on top and then we could see another goal um, and it just knocks us back then uh, it's just not good enough really yep it was like this we made too many mistakes and we paid for that so these kind of games you have to understand how to play and what to do and what not to do and we didn't understand uh, this in the 90 minutes why do you think that was today sometimes happened and uh, everything that you have been preparing it's wrong uh, in the end on the pitch and then you have to adjust and then we cannot and then also the other team they were pushing and they were working very hard but uh, it was, for me it was very clear our foot so everyone's disappointed now Newcastle's form it's awful at the minute it's, what do you do do you change the formation to play two up top uh, five changes Rafa is that too much let us know what you think because I think five changes for me is a little bit too much and 
clearly for the summer. I mean, Newcastle, luckily, luckily, I was watching the Derby game at work just across the road. And when Huddersfield were one up, I was really, really worried for the first time this season because if they won, that's five points with a game in hand. Luckily, Derby pulled one back for Butterfield three minutes ago. And I'm not going to lie to you, I celebrate the Derby goal like I celebrate Newcastle goal. I was off my seat celebrating and it shouldn't be down to that. It really should not be down to us relying on Huddersfield to fail. And to be fair, Huddersfield has just been as bad as Newcastle recently. Luckily, look at the league table now in front of where Yes, Red North third position, but it's still Huddersfield at the moment. Is it over? Yeah, Newcastle need five more points because of the goal difference superior, but a win on Preston. But can Newcastle get the win? Because raffle at the minute, we're absolutely shocking. Like I said, congratulations to Brighton. You know, the playoffs, if you look at the playoffs situation as well, that's very tight as well in the playoffs, so it's all to play for at the minute, the championship. But I'm so, so disappointed in the day. Like, I can't lie, I'm getting quite... I wouldn't say fed up watching Newcastle, but frustration the last, probably since the turn of the year, to be honest with you. Vanny really had one good performance since the turn of the year, and I feel like dominating. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm stuck for words. I'm, like, I'm a bit shell-shocked, really, to be honest. I thought that, I thought it would be up by now. I thought we would be Brighton. We would be wearing Brighton all right now, but individual errors in particular for me are causing Newcastle massive problems. And, you know, we've only won two out of the last eight games. We've only scored seven goals out of the last eight games, you know. Uh, we're missing two players, and that's Dwight Gale without Shannon. We don't rely heavily on him. Yes, the stats say we'll, play, we'll perform better, but you, know, you missed Dwight Gale. And Kieran Clark's another one. Who would have thought we would miss Kieran Clark, considering he's been a laughing stock for Villa for years doing the errors in the Premier League? And for me, I, you kind of keep playing the captain, Jamal Lascelles, yes. Um, but I think it's just shaken up a little bit, mate, just because your captain shouldn't start. And the midfield, again, we're awful absolutely awful um, Newcastle need a lot of strengthening in the summer and that's come later on down the line but we're knocking on the head to Tali Candy Newcastle fans forget about it move on and Monday night hopefully results go our way on Saturday and Huddersfield don't win because it puts the pressure on us at St James's Park yeah like I don't want to be in the Gallagher nail biting you know it's creaky bum time is what they're saying it very disappointed very disappointed we'll see you later bye bye